12 inches. Welcome to my shower. I'm about to wash my hair right now because I was at the gym. Me and Jim, you know, we be getting it in. <laughs> we be sweating. So I'm going to show you guys what I do in the shower, what products I've been using recently because I got some new ones. And so far, I'm really loving them. Now, I will say I deep condition weekly. Like that is so important for me to keep my curls moisturized and detangled. And I get like healthy hair that way so when i gym i wash my hair a lot because i don't like my scalp to feel like there's a lot of sweat and build up or excess product from restyling or refreshing my curls with gel and leave-ins and just sweat and all that building up i don't like that i like to have a clean scalp because if you have a clean scalp you have a healthy scalp and you also have better hair growth in my experience Sorry for my dog in background, I just took them out. So a mask that I have, I don't do a deep conditioner and a conditioner, I will do one or the other because products are expensive and why do you need two conditioners? You know what I'm saying? Let me know down below, do you use two conditioners? Because that doesn't make sense to me. Um, so I don't think I'm in a condition today, but I did wanna share with you guys the ones that I really like and the ones that I have repurchased. So this one is the Shea Moisture Intensive Hydration Hair Mask with bobo oil and fig extract. It's super thick and creamy and it smells really good. So I highly recommend this. I'll link these products below as you can see. We go in with this. I use this leave-in conditioner as well. So that's why I was like, ooh, let me try the hair mask. And my curls love this. And if I'm not using this, I'll use my Miss Jessie's Super Sweet Back Treatment. This one specifically is for hair growth. And it smells like bubble gum. So it's kind of like whatever mood I'm in. And I really try my best not to become a product junkie in the sense that I only buy things when I run out of it, then I'll try something new or I'll just get the same thing to replace it because they are super expensive. And when you're a curly girl that's in the gym sweating and you're like me and you like to have like a clean scalp, you run through products fairly quickly. These are my two favorite masks for the curly curls. Um, like I said, I'm not going to do a mask today because we're just not. As far as like a shampoo and conditioner combo, I've been loving these. I just recently got them from Sephora in my last vlog. You guys saw that. And this one is specifically made for thick hair. I don't know what exactly it does for the thick girls, but I love how this makes my hair feel. There's a lot of slip to it. Easy for me to detangle, which is super key. I'll show you guys how I detangle in a minute. And it smells so good. Way has the best smelling hair products, not to mention their packaging is just so aesthetic. It just looks so good. Like I want to have all Way products in my shower. So I got to wait till I run out of everything else and then I can buy those things. So I'll link these down below because they've been working really well for me. Also a product that I love from Way is their detox shampoo. This is a little bit different because it has apple cider vinegar. So when I feel like my hair is super like built up, a lot of congestion, there's too much product on it, then I'll go in with this because it really just strips my hair and makes it that like super squeaky clean feeling. Like you'll know when you use this. And I specifically bought this because I had protein overload and it really helped me just start fresh so I could go in and just add a ton of moisture on top of it. So these are like my favorite go-to products and you don't need a lot of this. So that's why I have the small one, but you can see the size difference here. So those are the products, okay? I'm going to turn the shower on and attempt to film. I'm gonna have to take a cold shower, which not my favorite thing. I love a steamy shower because I feel like the conditioner really penetrates my curls, but because I'm filming today, it's gonna make it very foggy and it'll be a waste of time for the editing and for you guys to actually see what the curls are doing and like right now it's just in a bun, so we're gonna take our sweet little time and detangle this. Ooh, I can't wait to get to my scalp. That's also why I don't like like wigs, like sew-ins, because I can't get to my scalp. When I had like sew-ins, yes, my hair was growing, but it was just so itchy for me and I had very dry scalp. That's just not a style, productive style for me. 
same thing with like braids like i have very sensitive scalp like i will get redness and those bumps so easily with the weight and the tension that i just have to have it out after like a week like i need to just have water running through my scalp i need my hands to just be able to touch my scalp you know what i'm saying so for me buns are my go-to protective style and it keeps my hair detangled like this and also moisturize
very important. You guys can get these on my Amazon. I never put my towel on my curls. That will break your hair off. So these are like microfiber towels. Amazon, okay. And it will dry your hair without making it frizzy or snag. My hair is almost getting too long for this now. It's fine, but I'm not gonna do um, my styling routine because honestly, filming in the shower was a lot of work. Ooh, I don't want to take a cold shower. It's cold in here. Bro, I can't. You guys see shit? Because I can't. Ah! No! But I was afraid of. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my post shower routine and I'll see you guys in the kitchen because I'm gonna show you guys my hair growth smoothie. We're on a hair growth journey. I don't know if you guys know that, but I measured my hair this morning. It came to 12 inches. So I feel like we're getting some good length thus far on my journey, but I wanna see how the things that I'm doing will affect my hair growth because I'm trying to get to waist length. Oh my god, I look ridiculous. <laughs> Waist length for me, because I have a short torso, is about 17 inches. So I'm about five inches away from hitting my goal. Catch me in a year, okay? So we're gonna see if we can speed it up. Speed it up. It's time to make my glowing green smoothie. This is nothing new on my YouTube channel. I've also done a reels about this. This is amazing because I can get all of my essential nutrients in one smoothie. So I always use my greens powder, the oxy greens and pineapple is the goat. This is the best flavor for this recipe, as you guys know. It's just a great way to get a variety of vegetables and like super, superfoods like acai and goji berries, stuff that I'm not eating on a regular basis. So love this stuff so much. And if you want to start a hair growth journey, you have to take care of your inner and it's going to flourish on the outside. Like your hair is gonna look really good, thick, full, shiny, healthy, and it's gonna start to grow as well as like your skin is gonna start to glow. So I've been also adding in marine collagen um, I've had this for a while. This is only a month supply. So when I finish this, I'm definitely going to reorder and probably do like my hair update. I don't know if I want to do two or three months because I want to obviously take it enough and for a period of time to actually see significant results, which is why I was like, girl, we should probably measure our hair and see what the length is looking like. But I've been taking this for a minute. Like it's probably half full right now because I've been on it for a couple of weeks. And I didn't think to measure my curls until today. So whatever, it is what it is. It's like a general ballpark. But I definitely wanna take this for a couple of months, but obviously collagen is a great alternative to biotin. I can't have biotin because it causes excess acne and I don't want acne just for hair growth. Like I'm not trying to pick one or the other. So collagen is just my personal, um, supplement of choice i think biotin for me just adds extra sebum buildup in my skin and it's just too much going on i can't take it personally but some people might like biotin but i find collagen to be a better alternative for me personally and my nails have been growing super duper long like i just got these done i feel like and i need to get a new set so these are essential obviously i take creatine every day so i'm just gonna throw this in there because these two things don't taste like anything, nor are they thick or gritty. Like they literally dissolve so perfectly. So you can put them in whatever you want. Uh, my smoothie, I call it my glowing green smoothie because baby, we are radiant in these streets. So if you guys want to check any of these out, I will pop them in the description below and you can use my code K10 at checkout to save money off of your order. Oh my God, I didn't take out any protein. Oh, that's another thing. Eat your protein. Our hair needs protein to grow and I think it's also grown fast because I take like my blessed protein powders. I eat a high protein diet because I'm also in the gym. So when you have all of that in your body, your hair is just like able to have that keratin and be strong and literally flourish. I don't know if you guys have ever noticed, but I do. 
a lot of these fit girls that I see on IG, they have long, healthy, shiny hair. Like, it's ridiculous. It's because we're all in this protein lifestyle. So while you're at it, go pick up some blessed protein. This churro flavor, don't be sleep on the churro. If you like desserts, like, this is it. Want your hair to grow gotta drink water because it's like watering a plant